Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to solve problem B Berlin music of round 120 division 2. Okay, so the problem is basically we have n songs numbered from 1 to n and the ith song has a predicted rating pi and pi is from 1 to n meaning that p is basically a permutation. So for each i from 1 to n we have a value pi and we also have a value s of i and s of i can either be 0 meaning that the song is disliked or s of i can be 1 meaning that the song can be liked. So we have i values from 1 to n and pi and si. Now we want to reevaluate the song ratings meaning that we want to rearrange p into q so that for so that q1 q2 qn will be the new permutation or the new sequence and also we want to rearrange it in such a way that for values where si was 1 i is greater than the value where si is 0. So wherever the corresponding value of was 1 the new value qi will be greater than the value where I, s of i was 0, okay? So the value where s of i was 1 should be greater than the value where s of i was 0. And not only this, we want to find a permutation q of, of uh, after rearranging, rearranging p such so that the sum of pi minus qi is the minimum possible, meaning that the difference between pi minus qi for each i is the minimum possible. So with a few test cases, let's see what's actually happening. So we're given the value i indices from 1 to n. So here n is 2. So we have i from 1 to n. And for each i, we have p of i, which is here 1 and 2, and s of i, which can either be 1 or 0. Now we want to rearrange it to form qi such that the value where s of i was 1 is greater than the value where s of i was 0. So we want to rearrange this so that the value at s of i where is 1 is greater. So there is only one way to re rearrange it which is 2 and 1. So now you can see that the value at s of i where s of i is 1 is greater than the value where s of i is 0. So here there is nothing to do. We just simply uh, there was only one other permutation which was 2 1. Now let's see a little more complex test case. Okay. So this is the test case taken from here. So let's look at this test case. So we have i from 1 to 8, for each i we have a p of i and for each uh, we have s of i, okay. So this is q of i written the same thing as p of i, okay. So I want to rearrange, I want to make q of i by rearranging p of i in such a way that the values at 1 are greater than the values at 0 and the difference between p i and q i is great, is the minimum possible, okay. So let's see how we can do that. So first let's just sort our p of i in descending order. So what will I get? I'll get 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So what is this? This is sorted p of i. So this is nothing but sorted p of i in descending order obviously. Now I want the first 4 to be in these position 1. So I want the greater values to be at the positions of 1 and I want the smaller values to be at the positions of 0. So if I didn't have this condition where I wanted uh, p of i minus q of i to be the minimum possible, I could have just simply put these values at the values of 1s and these values at the values of 0, but I want p i minus q of i to be the minimum possible, meaning that I have to sort these values as well. So let's take the values which, had, which have s of i as 1 so and sort them. So s of i, where s of i is 1, we have 8, then here we have 6 then we have 3 and 1, right? So we have 8, 6, 3 and 1. What is this? This is sorted p of i, uh, this is sorted where s of i is equal to 1 and obviously sorted in descending order. Now let's sort the values which have s of i as 0. What will I get? I'll get 7, 5, 4 and 2, right? So this is sorted. So this is nothing but this is sorted where s of i is 0, right? And I'll also move to the code. This is just the pseudo code to explain. Okay, so I sorted the main p of i array and then I took the values which had s of i as 1 and I sorted that and I took the value where s of i was 0 and I sorted that. Now, why am I sorting these? Because I want p of i minus q of i to be the minimum possible and only when everything is sorted, it will be the, in the descending order, it will be the minimum possible. Now, all I need to do is I need to bring these four values to be at the positions of these in the in p of i and I want to bring these values 
to be at the position of these and p of i so let's see how it works so here i had uh, q of i so let me just bring this back here and explain so this q of i is nothing but p of i repeated right as you can see this and this as the same now i want this 8 to be at the position of this 8 okay so this 8 to be in the position of 8 8 at the same position it doesn't matter now i want this 7 to be at to be at the position of this 6 okay so i want this 7 to be at the position of 6 so this will be 7 okay now i want this 6 to be at the position of this 3 so this will be 6 and then i keep on doing this till i get the final value which is this okay so if you keep on doing this you will come to this value okay and this will be your final answer okay so all you're doing is you're getting this 8 to this position and you're getting this 7 to this position you're getting this 6 to this position this 5 to this position and then so on so how will you do this you'll do this using a map okay so now let's move to the code okay so this is the code that i have and let's just zoom in on this so all i have is i have the array a and then i have the array b so b will be my new sequence q you can think of it as q and then i have stored the values which ha which had s of i as 1 and i stored the value which had s of i as 0 and like i said first i'm saying b of i as a of i it doesn't matter and i'm storing the map of each of those values because like i said what i need to do is i want this 8 to be at this position and how will i get the position of this using a map okay so i'm showing the map of each position in my original array i'm taking in the string s and where I, i'll also give a link to this code in the description you can check it from there now if, if s of i was 0 then it will be in the zeros array if it was ones it will be in the one array and i'm sorting everything in descending order okay so now all i need to do is just simply for each one in b whatever the value i had of one i'll put the new value there and again for uh, the later part i'll put the value i'll put the new value at the old position okay this is so this is basically me doing this this lines of code is doing this that this eight will be at the position of this this seven will be at the position of seven this six so using map i'm finding the position of this in my uh, old array and then i'm replacing that with this position with this value and i'm replacing this with this value i'm replacing this with this value and so on and so forth so that's it all we basically did was we sorted our pi we sorted our uh, ones and we sorted our zeros and then i just put each value in its corresponding position so that's it guys if you have any doubts just put them in the comments i'll also give you a link to the code in the description and thanks for watching